we're involved in steer competition, parader competition. It's really like peaking like an athlete, you know, they really got to peak at the right time. So their nutrition's very important, making sure that they're healthy. We have to prepare them by going to local shows so they get used to being out there with lots of busy public and machinery and then we end up down at Sydney show after all of that. When you come down and you see the opposition, um, it's going to be tough out there in the ring and um, look, if we get a few ribbons I think we'll be very, very happy. Well it's just such a great experience, you learn a lot from it, you get to meet people in industry, um, see what um, buyers are looking for in stock, uh, it's just a great experience. I think the main thing that gets most people into our packers is the way they look. It's about having the best fleece on the right conformed animal. So um, there's going to be 270 odd animals here competing in the next couple of days. So it's a matter of getting the right mix of all those attributes that makes you know the best alpaca. That's that's how it works. If you come to the poultry shed, you'll see hundreds of different breeds of ducks and chooks and turkeys and guinea fowl and eggs of course, trays of eggs. I've been coming to the show here for about 25 years. I breed Rhode Island, that's my main breed and, um, and well, I, because they're my breed I actually think they're the, the best breed. I'm 11 years old and I've won reserve at a show but never best bird so hopefully when my birds get better soon, I hope I'll, I'll win it.